Hi everyone, it's meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Thanks for jumping on to clicktohouston.com. Well, let's set the stage if you're going to be traveling either later this evening or certainly on Monday. We've got some rocky weather in some spots across the country. Big area of low pressure bringing some heavy rain and yes, some ice potential up to the upper Midwest, but it's mainly the snow on the backside up near Denver as you go into the Rockies and of course, a chance for some severe weather potential all in through the Mid-South. That includes Arkansas down towards Missouri as you get across the Tennessee Valley as well. Now, you note that the majority of uh, the state of Texas should be out of that. There is a slight chance that we could see a couple of strong, isolated, severe thunderstorms, but the majority of that may be north and east of I-10 and east of I-45 uh, as well. We'll keep a very close watch on that, but right now it looks like we may be dodging a bit of a bullet as the majority of that will all be north and east of us. So let's take the future cast as we go overnight tonight. There's where you see things really starting to blow up between Memphis and Dallas all through the state of Arkansas. Some scattered showers and occasional thunderstorm not out of the question tomorrow morning. Could even see a few of those rumbling through as the front itself passes from around lunchtime all the way through about 3, 4 o'clock. So early commuters may be impacted by this as well and certainly if you're going to be traveling up I-65 all across much of the, the uh, Mississippi Valley there looking at some fairly nasty weather. Backside of that though high pressure slides in should keep us dry for the rest of Monday afternoon evening into Tuesday morning and then we'll see the tail end of that front just kind of back door its way on shore that could also get a quick rumble of thunder as we head towards Tuesday afternoon. Once that's out of the picture though that's about it and we've got a pretty quiet forecast after that. Let's jump in a little tighter and show you what we've got starting tomorrow morning a very breezy night Night, overnight tonight. Keep those temperatures in the low 70s and upper 60s as we go through the early part of the uh, morning. Could see some scattered showers, maybe an occasional thunderstorm for your ride into work. And then as we go through the afternoon lunchtime, scattered showers and thunderstorms that will be clearing down by the coast by about 4 or 5 o'clock. You can see those temperatures will stay on the mild side in the mid 70s and could even be pushing close to about 80 degrees tomorrow. But Changes coming though. Once that front slides out of here Tuesday evening, Wednesday, overnight lows dipping into the low 50s. Afternoon highs quite comfortable in the mid 60s for the kickoff of the month of December on Thursday. 64 overnight lows, nice and cool in the low 40s. Then another system starts to slide in from the west. That one will produce some soggy conditions, a potential for some heavy rain at times. Saturday, Sunday into Monday's forecast. So keep that in mind uh, if you were going to try to do some Christmas shopping or certainly put the lights up next weekend. May want to hold off on that or try to get them in this week uh, while the dry weather is around because it will be a pretty good soaker going in towards next weekend. That's your forecast from right here at clickthehouston.com. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll keep you updated throughout the rest of the night tonight and get you set for your work week plans and you can get your weather needs anytime you need it. Travel as well right here at clickthehouston.com.